Should companies conduct virtual interviews or in-person interviews? It depends. It depends on the setup of the office. If the office environment or interview space will allow for social distancing, then of course it's perfectly fine to bring in that candidate and have a face-to-face -face interview with that candidate. We want to make sure that we're wearing our mask and that we have the appropriate distance between the, the interviewer and the candidate. A lot of companies are opting to just do virtual interviews and that's fine as well. It's important that HR representatives treat those virtual interviews as if they were in person. They should come prepared. They should also make sure that their space is free of clutter and their surroundings are professional as well. And so it's on both sides, both the candidate and the person conducting the interviews should make sure that their interview spaces are appropriate for that virtual interview. For me personally, I prefer in-person interviews. I prefer to have my candidates come in so that I can really have a conversation with them that will allow me to get to know them a little better. I am one who reads body language. I read um, energy of my candidates. And so having that in-person conversation for me uh, gives me an opportunity to get to know that candidate a little bit better. I do not believe that interview questions are different in person or virtually. The interview should be handled the same way. The process should be conducted in the same manner. Just because that person is not physically sitting in the room with you, it doesn't mean that the interview should go any differently. Thank you for listening to the Tracy Talks Talent Podcast. Please subscribe to future podcasts by logging onto our website at tracytalkstalent.com and following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Tracy Talks Talent and on Twitter at underscore Tracy Talks.